Psalm 37, 2 says, uh, and go back to Psalm 37. For they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. So we get to the end a lot faster in Psalm 37, right? Not to be envious at the wicked, but Psalm 73 really goes into a lot more depth as to how people become envious at them. And um, let's keep reading here in Psalm 37, verse number three. The Bible says, trust in the Lord and do good. So shalt thou dwell in the land and verily thou shalt be fed. So basically God's saying, you know, do right, do good, and I'll take care of you. You'll be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Delight thyself. Love God. Love the Lord. Love the ways of God. You know, when you read his word, don't let it be a drudgery. Embrace it. Love it. Knowing that, hey, the more I love God, the more I love his word, the more I can, I can change my heart to just love the things of God. I understand that he's also then going to give me the desires of my heart. He's going he's gonna to bless me more. And the more you get in the word of God, and the more you understand truth and wisdom, the more your desires are going to change to the right things instead of the wrong things. Right? You say, right now, I desire to have a bunch of riches up. So you mean if I get in the Bible and I'm gonna, God's going to give me a bunch of riches? No, I'm telling you, if you get your heart right and you get, you get in the Bible more, you're going to understand the end of those things and go, I really don't want that. I thought I wanted that and I really don't because now I understand more. And then you're going to start to see the things you really want that'll really bring you joy, that's really going to bring you peace, that's really going to bring you happiness and say, that's what I want. And those are the good things that God's going to see and give you those desires of your heart because they're good and they're good for you. And, you know, again, we could continually go back to understanding the relationship between a father and a child. You know, how much, you know, if my children were growing up and they're asking me for things like, oh, man, dad, I need money to go get some beer. I need, you know, I want to go. To, I'm not going to give you any of that because it's bad for you. I'm not going to withhold that from you. But then if they start asking me for things that are good for them. And I know it's good and they're going the right direction. Dad, I need some tools. I'm working on this job and, you know, they're building a trade or whatever. Be like, great. That's good. Keep going that direction or what, you know, whatever. Whatever it may be, that's just a, a good, right path of righteousness, integrity, honesty, you know, godly living. I'm going to help them in that endeavor when they're trying to do what's right. God's going to do the same thing for us. Delight thyself in the Lord, and he shall give thee desires of thine heart. Verse 5, commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. Delight yourself. Commit your way. Say, you know what? I'm going to commit my way to the Lord. I'm going to follow the Bible. I'm going to follow God. I'm going to trust in him and trust his word and trust the things that I see here. And you know what? He will bring it to pass. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light and thy judgment as the noonday. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. And now we're going to see these phrases again. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. So he'll go back and you know, the psalmist goes back and forth here about the evildoers and then doing what's right and kind of confirming and, and solid up the, uh, you know, doing what's right. And here's why you're going to have all these benefits of it. What does it mean to fret? Fret means you're worrying, right? If you're fretting about something like, oh man, I got to do this, you know, and you're just, just worried and anxious and nervous. And the Bible's saying, don't fret yourself. It's the very first phrase, fret not thyself because of evildoers. And then here we come back to this concept, you know, fret not thyself because of him that prospereth in his way. Don't be worried about these, these wicked people who seem to have it all. Don't let that distress you. Don't let that bother you. Don't let that worry you. They have an end. You keep doing what's right. And that's why that, that previous verse uh, was talking about having, pay, or in the same verse, verse 7, rest the Lord and wait patiently for him. Have patience. See, with the Lord, it's going to take a little bit of time. With the world, you need that instant gratification. right? People want to just, just have it all and have it now. And not care about tomorrow, not care about consequences, not care about the end. But the Christian mindset, the way that the Bible teaches is, it's not all about right now. You do what's right right now, 
and God will reward thee in the end. It's coming. Just wait patiently. Trust, faith, exhibit that faith knowing that, hey, I may not get it at all in this lifetime, and that's fine. And I could invest an entire life not receiving anything. And God will bless me with that many more rewards because I was able to go and wait patiently and show that I do believe this to be true and I am trusting in the Lord and I know that this is right. And you know what? When you do that, you also gain just the inherent blessing of not going down the path of destruction, right? Of just, of, of having the, the other just inherent blessings of doing what's right, of having a clear conscience, of, of having integrity and, and just being able to stand on that and the peace that comes along with that already. Like that in itself is a blessing that doesn't even have to just come from God. It's just something by doing right is automatically there. Let alone the rewards and the blessings that God will give you you know, at the judgment seat of Christ because of your faith and your patience and your waiting and your working for the Lord.